Let's see. They don't, but I also hope they do just get knocked off. That's cutting it close. <laughs> I should uh, talk about the old quick shifter now I've had it a few days um, so right off the bat big thumbs up man it's um, a well worthy addition to any any bike any bike um, so it works um, I'll try and put a picture up around about now. Uh, so it works by this little micro switch you can see, or sensor. Um, this is a very layman's term, layman's way of explaining it even. <laughs> so it, um, it basically senses that you're pushing against the um, against the gear lever and then retards the engine so it takes the load off uh, the clutch or the gearbox or something like that and then um, in doing so allows you to slot a gear in like that so that's how it works so generally the feel of it doesn't feel too um, Oh, I've got this buff sitting in my gob. It doesn't feel unnatural or anything like that or of the sort. It um, actually feels feels quite intuitive, really, if I'm honest. Um, especially if you're used to clutchless upshifts. I don't think you would ever have a problem with this. So as you can see, I'm just using it normally. I'm not, I'm not pinning it anywhere. Um, and it works really well, you know, just even just casual riding. It's, um, <laughs> it works really well. So, on the Triumph one, as far as I know on my bike anyway, it only shifts up, doesn't shift down. So, um, yeah. It only shifts up, doesn't shift down. Um, and the general feel of it is that if you're doing a clutchless upshift, like so, um, the gear lever is a lot lighter to push up, to click up a gear. Um, but with the quick shifter, there's almost like um, it's almost like you're feeling the point before um, the kind of engine gets retarded and takes the load off, so you can slip the gear in. I'm still chewing this f***ing buff in my mouth. What's up with it? Oh, so anyway, um, yeah, so that's the only real difference that you can tell you're using it is that the gear lever is a little bit heavier, um, but not not a big deal. As in, it doesn't it doesn't make your foot or anything like that. Um, that's the only real sort of difference I can feel. So um, in terms of it actually being being useful. How far up is this? Can I make that? There we go, that's better. So in terms of actually being useful, um, it's massively, massively uh, changed the feel of the bike when you're obviously accelerating. Um, so when you do it, you don't get any jolt. It's very, very smooth when it kicks in. It's just so smooth. Um, and that's the case when you're either casually riding or even full throttle gear changes it just doesn't the bike doesn't jolt or unsettle you you know you know there's no there's none of that there's nothing to get used to it's just so so smooth kick straight up um, and the momentum that the bike carries from doing it 
is is just immense. Um, I mean, statistically, it doesn't sound very. Uh, that still comes there. It doesn't sound um, much quicker, but it it is. It really is. So I managed to find something online. So it must be true, eh? It's online um, that. If a MotoGP rider can do a clutchless upshift in 300 milliseconds, um, then a quick shifter can do it in in 50. So um, you've got a, a, a saving of 250 milliseconds there, which um, for those of you who can't do maths, which doesn't sound like a lot. It's milliseconds, but this is this bit is where the difference is. Um, and it and it is a it might sound like a small difference but it is a big one um in the i hope i don't get punched from all that crap um in that when you're kicking up there is just like no pause in the bike's moment, uh, momentum you're almost just it's when you change gear i, I mean you, you probably know what i mean but i'll try and explain it so you obviously with a clutch like that so bike dips the bike drops out of its acceleration for you know as much as it might take 300 milliseconds to actually engage that gear you've still lost a bit of time in that your bike's kind of dropping off the throttle and um, obviously not pacing forward so with the quick shifter that just doesn't happen it just it just carries on man it's so it's so changed the feel of um, bike it's it's crazy it's absolutely crazy um, yeah it's just it's mental the the difference it makes um, and the fact it just sounds sounds awesome you're looking at ugly um, yeah it sounds awesome the way you pop through the gears um, unfortunately the microphone doesn't really pick up the deeper tones that this bike produces so all you can probably hear is that really annoying whistling sound um, when you watch the videos but i can assure you this doesn't sound like that when you're actually riding it um, but when you actually kick up you get a little um like a little pop so it's uh you're about to hear my best bike impression so it's wah, pop, wah, pop. So, uh, as you'll hear as you might So obviously there's absolutely no there's no drag there there's no there's no stopping you're just gonna you just keep going it's so good it's so good honestly um, I couldn't recommend them enough <laughs> after having one just for a week um, also to follow on from my little uh, my little hissy fit where my bike I found out was restricted um, that did get taken off the next day and um, the reason I blanked out the dealership's name uh, was because it actually really wasn't their fault it was um, it was Triumph's factory that told them the only restriction was on the ECU but it actually transpired it wasn't it was um, on the throttle so it wasn't restricted to 100 horsepower um, it was you know probably about 110 I mean um, two mechanics from both different dealerships both said to me um, that you're probably losing roughly the top 20% when you're open throttle so um, the difference is <laughs> is really noticeable really noticeable um, it's almost like the, there was this little bit of hidden power that I just was never well there was this hidden power I was never ever getting um, but yeah the reason I blanked it out was just because it wasn't it wasn't technically their fault as much as I let them have it over it um, and you know realistically they should have should have checked especially on the the first sort of 500 mile service I'm meant to take the bike apart um, to tighten everything up and just check it's all not going to fall apart and obviously they should have spotted it but you know not entirely their fault so that's why I blanked out their name because uh, as much as they are very sales driven and they don't look after their customers a lot um, and I do retain that that's that's the whole reason I I went to another Triumph 
shop just because I was so unhappy with the way you get treated by their service department. Um, but yeah, the sales guys don't really deserve the rap. They're actually pretty, pretty nice guys, the sales blokes. Uh, of course they're going to be. They want to sell me a bike, don't they? But <laughs> so that was the reason for that. Ah, oh, thank you, my lovely. That's very nice of you. So yeah, um, so yeah, back to the quick shifter. Get one. They're awesome. I can't remember how much I paid for this. Um, I've got free fitting because I had it done with a major service, so they had the air box off anyway. Um, I mean, it's plus 300 quid, but 300 quid well spent, in my opinion. It, um, it works really well. It changes the bike. Um, something as well, mid corner. If you change gear mid corner, just where it's so smooth, like, see, look, gone up. They don't even notice. Um, if you change gear mid corner, you just, it'll keep the bike so smooth. You won't get any, you know, wiggling or anything like that, or, you know, it won't change the angle of your lean because you've let off the power. It's, it's perfect, honestly. You, uh, anybody who gets one, you'll love it, I promise you. Yeah, so, other than that, until, uh, until we meet again.